today's reading begins in Numbers, chapter 2, starting in verse 1. The Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, The children of Israel shall encamp every man by his own standard with the banners of their father's houses. They shall encamp around the tent of meeting at a distance from it. Those who encamp on the east side towards the sunrise shall be of the standard of the camp of Judah, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Judah shall be Nashon, the son of Amminadab. His division and those who were counted of them were 74,600. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar. The prince of the children of Issachar shall be Nethanel, the son of Zuar. His division and those who were counted of it were 54,400. The tribe of Zebulun, the prince of the children of Zebulun, shall be Eliab, the son of Helon. His division and those who were counted of it were 57,400. All who were counted of the camp of Judah were 186,400, according to their divisions. They shall set out first. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Reuben shall be Eleazar, the son of Shadur. His division and those who were counted of it were 46,500. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. The prince of the children of Simeon shall be Shelemiel, the son of Zerushaddai. His division and those who were counted of them were 59,300. The tribe of Gad, the prince of the children of Gad, shall be Eliasaph, the son of Raul. His division and those who were counted of them were 45,650. All who were counted of the camp of Reuben were 151,450, according to their armies. They shall set out second. Then the tent of meeting shall set out, with the camp of the Levites in the middle of the camps. As they encamp, so shall they set out, every man in his place, by their standards. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishama, the son of Amahud. His division, and those who were counted of them, were forty thousand and five hundred. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh. The prince of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, the son of Pedajur. His division, and those who were counted of them, were thirty-two thousand and two hundred. The tribe of Benjamin, the prince of the children of Benjamin, shall be Abadan, the son of Gideoni. His army, and those who were counted of them, were thirty-five thousand and four hundred. All who were counted of the camp of Ephraim were one hundred and eight thousand and one hundred, according to their divisions. They shall set out third. On the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Dan, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Dan shall be Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. His division, and those who were counted of them, were sixty-two thousand and seven hundred. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher. The prince of the children of Asher shall be Pagiel, the son of Akran. His division, and those who were counted of them, were forty-one thousand and five hundred. The tribe of Naphtali, the prince of the children of Naphtali, shall be Ahira, the son of Enan. His division, and those who were counted of them, were fifty-three thousand and four hundred. All who were counted of the camp of Dan were one hundred and fifty-seven thousand and six hundred. They shall set out last by their standards. These are those who were counted of the children of Israel by their fathers' houses. All who were counted of the camps, according to their armies, were six hundred and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. But the Levites were not counted amongst the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they encamped by their standards, and so they set out, every one by their families, according to their fathers' houses. Now this is the history of the generations of Aaron and Moses, in the day that the Lord spoke with Moses in Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests who were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the presence of Aaron their father. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister to him. They shall keep his requirements, and the requirements of the whole congregation, before the tent of meeting, to do the service of the tabernacle. They shall keep all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, and the obligations of the children of Israel, to do the service of the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given to him on the behalf of the children of Israel. You shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall keep their priesthood, but the stranger who comes near shall be put to death. 
The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have taken the Levites from amongst the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn who opened the womb amongst the children of Israel. And the Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I made holy to me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and animal. They shall be mine. I am the Lord. The Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Count the children of Levi by their fathers' houses, by their families. You shall count every male from a month old and upward. Moses counted them according to the Lord's word, as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei, the sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzziel, the sons of Merari by their families, Mali and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to their fathers' houses. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shimites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those who were counted of them, according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, even those who were counted of them were seven thousand and five hundred. The families of the Gershonites shall encamp behind the tabernacle westward. Eliasaph, the son of Lael, shall be the prince of the father's house of the Gershonites. The duty of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting shall be the tabernacle, the tent, its covering, the screen for the door of the tent of meeting, the hangings of the court, the screen for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle and around the altar, and its cords for all of its service. Of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, the family of the Israelites, the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites. These are the families of the Kohathites. According to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, there were 8,600 keeping the requirements of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall encamp on the south side of the tabernacle. The prince of the father's house of the families of the Kohathites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. Their duty shall be the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which they minister, the screen, and all its service. Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest shall be prince of the princes of the Levites, with the oversight of those who keep the requirements of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Malites and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Merari. Those who were counted of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, were six thousand and two hundred. The prince of the father's house of the families of Merari was Zeriel the son of Abihail. They shall encamp on the north side of the tabernacle. The appointed duty of the sons of Merari shall be the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, all its instruments, all its service, the pillars of the court around it, their sockets, their pins, and their cords. Those who encamp before the tabernacle eastward, in front of the tent of meeting towards the sunrise, shall be Moses, with Aaron and his sons, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary for the duty of the children of Israel. The outsider who comes near shall be put to death. All who were counted of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron counted at the commandment of the Lord by their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty-two thousand. The Lord said to Moses, Call all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. You shall take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn amongst the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites instead of all the firstborn amongst the livestock of the children of Israel. Moses counted, as the Lord commanded him, all the firstborn amongst the children of Israel, all the firstborn males, according to the number of names from a month old and upward, of those who were counted of them, were twenty-two thousand and two hundred and seventy-three. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn amongst the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites instead of their livestock, and the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord." For the redemption of the two hundred and seventy-three of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who exceed the number of the Levites, you shall take five shekels apiece for each one. According to the shekel of the sanctuary, you shall take them. The shekel is twenty geras, and you shall give the money with which their remainder is redeemed to Aaron and to his sons. Moses took the redemption money from those who exceeded the number of those who were redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the children of Israel he took the money, one thousand and three hundred and sixty-five shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and to his sons, according to the Lord's word, as the Lord commanded Moses. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, beginning in verse 27. 
They, that is Jesus and his disciples, came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him, and they began saying to him, By what authority do you do these things? Or who gave you the authority to do these things? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? Answer me. They reasoned with themselves, saying, If we should say, From heaven, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? If we should say, From men, they feared the people, for all held John to really be a prophet. They answered Jesus, We don't know. Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. He began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a pit for the winepress, built a tower, rented it out to a farmer, and went into another country. When it was time, he sent a servant to the farmer to get from the farmer his share of the fruit of the vineyard. They took him, beat him, and sent him away empty. Again he sent another servant to them, and they threw stones at him, wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully treated. Again he sent another, and they killed him, and many others, beating some and killing some. Therefore, still having one, his beloved son, he sent him last to them, saying, They will respect my son. But those farmers said amongst themselves, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. They took him, killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. What therefore will the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the farmers, and will give the vineyard to others. Haven't you even read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected was made the head of the corner. This was from the Lord. It is marvelous in our eyes. They tried to seize him, but they feared the multitude, for they perceived that he spoke the parable against them. They left him and went away. They sent some of the Pharisees and the Herodians to him, that they might trap him with words. When they had come, they asked him, Teacher, we know that you are honest, and don't defer to anyone, for you aren't partial to anyone, but truly teach the way of God. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Shall we give or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you test me? Bring me a denarius, that I may see it. They brought it. He said to them, Whose is this image and inscription? They said to him, Caesar's. Jesus answered them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. They marveled greatly at him. Psalm 47, beginning in verse 1. O oh, clap your hands, all you nations! Shout to God with a voice of triumph! For the Lord Most High is awesome! He is a great king over all the earth! He subdues nations under us, and peoples under our feet! He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loved! God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet! Sing praises to God! Sing praises! Sing praises to our King! Sing praises! For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are gathered together, the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Proverbs chapter 10, beginning in verse 24. What the wicked fear will overtake them, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. When the whirlwind passes, the wicked is no more, but the righteous stand firm forever. Mm -hmm.